tell you what, man, coming home to packages is my very, very favorite thing in the world. Oh, snap. Oh, we got two. Yes. I'm home, but the dogs aren't making any noise. That makes me a little nervous. Oh, and now I see why. Well, we got some parts in today, as you saw, which I'm excited about. I've been waiting a long time for the Hotchkiss sway bars front and rear for the Q50. However, today's a little bit bittersweet. The car is broken. Yeah, broken. Um, not broken, but it's not running. Let me give you a little background. Um, as you know, we went to get the car retuned, and get it dialed in to uh, accommodate for the upgrade or the change in the exhaust system. Everything was fine. Car ran great, as you can see. We did a little review, um, and uh, you know it was just fine. I drove about two and a half hours. It took me to get home that afternoon. Um, and again, everything was fine. Um, didn't didn't push the car real hard or do anything crazy like that, but you could definitely tell that it was accelerating just fine on the interstate. Um, it sounded great, everything was perfect. Um, parked the car overnight, got up in the, the morning the next day and um, took it down the road, didn't notice anything different. Uh, got some gas, again, didn't really notice anything different, but I wasn't do anything, doing anything crazy. Uh, got home, parked the car, uh, got in it to go to the, uh, the races that I had talked about in Charlotte. Um, and as I tried to accelerate onto the interstate, the car basically did nothing. Um, I could push the pedal all the way to the floor and it wouldn't go any higher than 2,500 or 3,000 RPM. It's almost like it was in a valet mode or a limp mode. Um, but again, no weird noises, no check engine lights. Um, the car sounded fine going down the highway it's just in terms of the exhaust it didn't sound like any misses or anything of that nature um, but still very concerning I actually pulled off the side of the road I wasn't sure what was going on um, it almost felt like the car was gonna kill out uh, but it didn't it came back down to a normal idle I pulled back off onto the highway was not able to accelerate again beyond 40 miles an hour got off the road got the car back home in the driveway um, and and that was that I had read uh, online some people having issues with things like this similar to this where it'll happen and then they shut the car off turn it back on and everything is fine it doesn't happen again that wasn't the case we restarted the car took it down the neighborhood um, just kept doing it couldn't figure it out obviously didn't want to drive it too much with it having issues like that um, just in case something serious was wrong with it so um, got it back did the other things that you would think of doing unplugging the battery um, you know letting the computer do a, a soft restart no change got a hold of the guys that tune the car uh, tried to troubleshoot some things and really there's not much uh, we could do it's kind of weird so what they did was send me the Ecutech cables and they came UPS but however I missed them today so I, we're actually gonna head to UPS right now pick those cables up see if they included any instructions otherwise um, we'll have to do it over the phone but that's the bittersweet element we got the Hotchkiss sway bars in finally, but I feel kind of weird. I don't feel right installing them when the car's not even running. So she's just sitting here in the garage right now. But that's where we're at now. Let's head to uh, UPS and go pick up this package. Let's see what's included with these cables. And uh, we'll go from there. When we get back, I guess we'll do a little unboxing. We'll take a look at these Hotchkiss sway bars. We'll see if we'll get into an installation or not. But let's uh, let's see what let's see what this day, day brings, shall we? So like I said, we try to diagnose, or I've been trying to diagnose kind of some of the issues. No check engine like light, like I said. Um, but 
there's a couple of things. Um, again, it won't go beyond 3,000 RPM. Then if it does, it just keeps revving up and it won't accelerate. There's like there's no power, but it'll shift through all the gears. If I put it in manual, it'll go through all the gears. So I'm not worried about transmission necessarily. Um, so in my mind, it could be a, a few things, one of a few things, or possibly more than one of a few things. Hope that it's simple. I hope that it's a very simple fix. Um, one, the mine goes to O2 sensors. Uh, you know, changing the fuel. Um, you know, we did get the the flame map. I only tried it once, but you know, maybe dumping some fuel in, something didn't get burned, whatever the case may be, it fouled out an O2 sensor, possibly. A um, little weird to think one of the mass airflow sensors uh, that went out. It's weird to think that, that happened, but I guess it's possible. Um, the car's only got 40,000 miles on it, and we've only changed the filters, uh, but I guess you never know. Uh, it was a long trip home, maybe something got messed up. Um, the other thing could be that uh, some parameters of the tune didn't stick. I guess, you know, we got it retuned, uh, the car sat overnight, uh, the computer was messed up in the morning. I, I don't know. Maybe it got stuck in a valet mode of sorts. Just not sure you know one of one of those four things maybe um, I don't know hopefully we can get it get it diagnosed I'm anxious to get these cables uh, and hook it up to a computer or whatever we got to do and, and uh, figure it out so it's raining like crazy I can't believe how much rain has come down so I'm going to uh, concentrate on the road rather than talking we'll be at the UPS uh, shop here shortly and uh, we'll go from there Finally back home. There it is. This looks brand new to me. Here's the contents. Should open this bad boy up. Let's see what's in here. Instructions and a bunch of stickers. Cool. <clears throat> Bushings just well packaged. There they are. These are these are sick. Really, really nice powder coat. Um, the gray on. The gray on the website, when you see these online, just doesn't do it justice. This is super glossy, really nice looking gray. I'm, I'm pumped, really substantial. Um, a lot heavier D than I was expecting, uh, but I guess that, that is why they are, um, are what they are and why they perform as well as they do. Really excited to get these installed. I gotta figure out where to put them. I gotta get rid of this box before my wife gets home. It's a hard one to hide, but I think I can hide the actual sway bars. <laughs> well, we got it. Hey, we got the um, Accutech uh, deal uh, installed here and got the app. See if you can see it. And I guess the first thing we wanted to check out is um, the DTC tools see if we got any codes being thrown oh 
the air to hand out. Hold up. What we wanted to do right away is test, take a look at the DTC and to find that we do actually have one ECM code. Well, it's leading us in a direction. Well, I don't mean to do this to you guys, but um, I gotta work on this a little bit and I think uh, walk through it, figure it out, and we'll do an update. So please stay tuned. Sucks that the car is down right now, but at least we got the, the Accutech um, you know, hookups here and we'll, we'll get things figured out. So I gotta touch base with Soho, um, Nick at Soho Motorsports and, and um, walk through this, make sure we get everything situated. Um, but like I said, I'll give you an update, follow up on that. Hopefully we get this car running. Uh, it's Friday night, it's late, so I don't know that I'll get a hold of them until after this weekend. But nonetheless, we got the Hotchkiss sway bars in. Thank goodness, uh, some good news, bittersweet news in, in uh, this whole scenario. But um, I think we're in a good spot. Let me know if you've had any experience with these Hotchkiss sway bars in the past or any sway bars with the G37, Q50, 370Z, 350Z, any any Hotchkiss, even, even the still in sway bars. Let me know your experience with sway bars, what settings you like to use. Um, these have the, the three settings for the rear and uh, I guess worse, it's not adjustable in the, the front apparently, but um, pretty pumped to get these on, but I, like I said, I wanted to do an installation this evening with these, but I realized I need the car to be running because I want to do a before and after. I really want to get some good footage of the car swaying, no pun intended, but I want to, you know, drive at certain mile per hour um, and, and, and see what kind of body roll we get or what sort of responsiveness we get with the, how the car is currently set up and then do the same um, with the Hotchkiss sway bars installed and see if we can tell a difference. I want to get my wife's reaction also um, because I think that'd be interesting. So stay tuned, a couple good videos coming up. Hopefully we can get this thing with the, um, the, uh, the error code that the, the ECU in the car is throwing. Uh, and that's it. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stick around. Uh, appreciate your support. Got a big goal, 3,000 subscribers by January 1st, 2020. So help me get there. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscription button right now. Appreciate it very, very much. See you in the next video, hopefully with some good news.